Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We're going to talk about full range rooms today. People are always send in our, their rooms and room forms and people building new rooms, designing new rooms. And, you know, they're always wanting, where do I start? What are the ratios? What's the width, height, length? Well, let's talk a little bit about some of the things behind that. And then we'll get to that, okay? Music and voice. All sources produce a frequency range. Most music, 30, 20K, 40, 20K. Voice, 90 to 2K, okay? It's variable. But the goal here is that it has to fit, fit into the room, right? The best sound I always say is no room. Get rid of the room. That's hard to do. We have elements, you know, cold, heat, wind, all those things. So noise. Ugh. So we have all these things we have to consider, but let's take the low end of the spectrum. We're going to deal with energy that's 30 plus 30 foot long. Could be 15 foot high. Will it fit in the room? No. It won't. So what do we do? Well, let's look at the room. When that big 30-foot wave is generated in a, into our 18-foot room, part goes through, part's reflected back, and then part's attenuated by the structure, absorbed, hopefully. So there's three things going on there. If you don't think it goes through, just ask your neighbor. The kick drum go up to 300 yards travel. What chance does this neighbor have who's 20 feet away? The drummers know this. So three things happen. It goes through the wall, reflected back, and, and it's absorbed. And you've got to respect those three processes. Of course, the one that's attenuated, that's the one we're after. Pressure and reflections. Always those two things. Always. Big Roman numeral one and two. Pressure and reflections under room acoustics. What's the start? size for treatment response. Obviously, the larger the volume, the lower the pressure usage, the better the treatment will respond. You know, there's this triad of variables that you have to consider. Produce less energy into a larger room, less issues. So the treatment works better if you got the right rate and level of treatment. So what are some start sizes that we can use? Well, they're big, okay? because we have to take into consideration three walls. And let's talk about that, right? So we have an inter outside dimension. Here's what we like to give clients that are building new projects. 27 to 31 wide, 13 to 15 high, 33 to 37 long. Big. But when you have a room and a footprint like that, it doesn't really matter what the usage is. That's a good drum room. It's a small good band room it could be small orchestra room there's a lot of good things about that kind of volume and size but one of the big things about it is that it responds really well to the treatment you put in it do you need less treatment usually in the low frequency area but more in the middle and high because it's bigger you have higher reverb times more reflections so more surface area covered so it's a trade-off there's no absolute as they say in acoustic so also, you have to realize that in our room, we have three walls. That's OD dimensions that I gave you. That's outside. But there's an inside dimension. Okay, so we have OD out here. And then what do we have inside those walls? Well, we have three walls. Barrier, BTU we call it, and treatment. Barriers for noise. That's on the outside. Stop the noise from getting in. Stop the noise from leaving. Same two-way valve, right? BTU, keep the room warm or cool. Winter, summer, seasonal temperature management. Treatment, absorption and diffusion. Three separate walls, three separate functions, three different branches of physics. People mix them up all the time and you can't. You can't use a barrier to keep the room warm or cold doesn't work, okay? Can't use absorption and diffusion to keep the room warm or cold. You have to use special technology that has R value, okay? So you have to understand the science behind what you're doing because lot, covering lots of surface area with treatment, with noise technology barrier, with BTU management, you guys that build know this, it's expensive. 
You want to start with the right footprint so that the treatment that you have to put in, and everybody has to put in treatment in any critical listening room, regardless of the size, that the treatment responds the best that it can. So, full range rooms. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.